Welcome to Green Jay Landscaping. I'm Jay Archer and landscapes are better living. So here we are in Harrison, New York and we're next to this gorgeous golf course and what an astounding view. And here we are in a, a beautiful uh, home that faces this great pastoral view. And what we did here is the backyard, although somewhat usable, was far from level. So what we're doing here is terraforming, land contouring, grading, and lawn installation. Ecological lawn installation. That means we're creating a resilient, sustainable, uh, organic lawn. No pesticides will ever be used. What we did is we originally came in and we, we sculpted out some of the hill by where Renee's standing, putting in the flag, where the plants are gonna go. We took out some of the Pakistani to lower that hill and give us more space towards the retaining wall. And we, we brought in a significant amount of screen topsoil. We did not use fill in this case or subsoil. This is all high quality, premium, screened um, loam. Oh. And it's, it's marvelously free of glass and stone debris. It's screened with a fine screen. As the tractor trailers delivered the topsoil, we had the root mass that was left from these big old ewes. They were probably 30 or 40 years old. And we put them in the empty tractor trailer so that they could be carted back and recycled. So, very conscious and aware of repurposing and recycling all the materials on site. So the first day we brought in these gorgeous boulders that Aslan, our uh, construction manager, handpicked. And the boulders were placed, excavated and put into place. And the soil was spread. And we created this two-tiered planting bed. Immediately behind the boulders, we're gonna plant some nat native viburnum, and that's gonna afford some screening, and they'll be four to five, five to six feet tall, which means they'll be, you know, three to four feet above here. Then we're gonna have native grasses on the top of this berm with some outstanding uh, colorful perennials that all like the full sun. This is gonna be a pollinator pathway, uh, landscape is going to attract lots of beneficial insects right next to the golf course that should encourage all the natural wildlife that we want, the beneficial wildlife. While we were under construction, we found a groundhog was burrowing behind the AC units, the condensers. So we called Westchester Wildlife. We had Westchester Wildlife come out and talk to the owner about um, relocating the wildlife um, instead of you know disposing of them which they have to take them pretty far away so in this case they have have a heart traps they're inviting them in so far uh, Chewy des decided not to come out and see a shadow or anything so he's still happily in his hole uh, they eat five pounds of vegetation a day and they have the average of five young who eat five pounds of vegetation so that's 30 pounds of vegetation once that family gets up in here. In the first day, we had uh, the plants delivered and we treated them with a natural source organic deer repellent that persuades the deer not to take advantage of salad bar. The first day is critical whenever you're planting plants. You do not want the animals to come investigate what you have. So uh, stay tuned because we're going to be placing plants here. We're going to be cutting the grade, we're going to be finishing the grading. And we're going to be wrapping up this gorgeous uh, new organic lawn, terrace, and landscape. And previously, what we did is we showed how we did a lift, or we raised the grade. So we picked the grade up all together about three feet in this middle section here. Oh, and here's our monarchs. But as we say, bring back the butterflies. Right on time. <laughs> Photo opportunity. What we did is we graded this with premium screen topsoil and seeded it with a combination of 13 variety of grasses. Bluegrass, ryegrass, chewing fescue, 
the red fescue and many varieties of those. There's this beautiful golf course view here. On the other side of this shrub border, it comes down to level. And then over here are retaining wall stores. So here, as we say, bring back the birds and butterflies. We're not kidding. So the minute we're done, you see the butterflies show up. And what we did is we used a natural rock, rip wrap, uh, terraforming, and uh, land contouring here. So we built up significant amount of soil behind here then we rolled that up to the top then we planted um, a mix of viburnums native viburnums here to further stabilize the roll off to the upper grade and then we have a predominantly warm season which is perfectly appropriate in the 90 degree heat tonight um, grass garden with perennials that attract the birds and butterflies predominantly native perennials you can see this line, this is where the construction that silt fence was that protected this road and the golf course property from the construction. We are very uh, conscious of the site conditions and how we can maintain um, soil and preserve our existing natural resources and, and respect that. All in all, it's a very successful project. Um, we have increased the wildlife exponentially the aesthetic appearance and the ecological value is huge. This is best your use of our precious natural resources, particularly water, in this big evaporative environment. So we're going in the shade now. See you later. If you like what you've seen, check out our website, greenjadelandscaping.com.